Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can install your aftermarket sun visor to the Stilo DS WRC Rally Helmet, so don't go anywhere. Okay guys, before we begin, let's just take a look at what we got. So we obviously got our Stilo Helmet, this is the Carbon Puma DS. This is the visor, um, I went for the dark smoked visor and um, there is multiple different types of visors that you can get like yellow shades and mirror effect and stu stuff like that but i just went with the the normal shaded version this time so let's just take that out of the package as you can see and the scratch film on it but yeah that's what it looks like so basically this needs to be installed underneath this peak on the helmet. So first things first, we're gonna to need to remove the original peak. And one thing to keep in mind is that you have to buy a separate fitting kit for the visor, which is like another 30 or 40 quid. And you can see it's got some instructions here on the way we're gonna install it. But yeah, let's remove the visor on this right now. So the original visor, you can just use a flat head screwdriver and we're going to remove these screws. Probably should have used a slightly bigger head. Um, I think the screws that are replacing it are anal keys. And so the original peak is now removed from the helmet, as you can see. It's pretty ugly without it, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the peak removed. So now we need to figure out how to install the visor. So with the fitting kit, they come with these little these little dudes, which um, are adhesive washers. But as far as I can tell, it's absolutely identical to the ones that are already on my helmet. But just check if yours have these washers are not already installed so I can skip that step I don't need to stick new ones on here and uh, we're just gonna follow this diagram and yeah you can see these are the adhesive washers that are already on so we need to put these washers on the visor and then the screws go through the carbon visor on the outside we need this washer with the little nipple on it to go through this top uh, top hole like that and then on the bottom we're using one of these large washers to sit here and then obviously you can adjust the angle of the peak through this uh, radius so we line it up like this um, see I've got the washer up there and you slip this one in here like so and then we're using this screw with the, the bit of the, the nipple, I'm gonna call it, um, on the bottom, like that. The normal screw with the washer. And this goes up here. And that's it, guys. We need to just get this lined up now and then do the other side as well. So let's have a go at trying to get this one started. But yeah, you get the thread started with your fingers to begin with. I've messed that up. Get that in there again. The washers fell away. So it's just quite a fiddly task. There's no um, getting around to <laughs> Oh, fuck. So I think that's the best advice, just to start with this bottom screw, get that started, and then let's try and get the top one now lined up. Like so. All right, so that was quite fiddly, but I've got these started now. So we're gonna leave those a little bit loose. We won't fully tighten them until we get the other side started. But you can see this is just a little bit of a fiddly, tricky, job to do there's a lot of components you have to hold together until you get the screw started in the thread but that's that side done let's try and get this other side on now 
just a little bit of tension on this side now because the other side's in, it's tightened it up a bit. It's getting really tricky. One thing goes in, the other falls out. All right, guys, so I got there in the end up quite a tricky job just because you got all these different uh, things to hold together. You know, you've got one, two, three, and one, two. So you've got five things to hold in place until you get the screw started. But yeah, as you can see, that's done now. These are all started. We just need to tighten them up with the screwdriver and make sure we're happy with the placement. Um, but it is fairly simple to do. It's just a little bit fiddly. So we're just gonna use a little allen key, screw it in, not too tight. You don't wanna crack anything. Yeah, you don't wanna crack anything. I'll just bring that up closer. Just tighten it in, finger tight. Well, not finger tight, but you know what I mean. It'll, you'll eventually feel it starting to tighten up and yeah, you don't wanna go too much further than that. That's it. Um, and yeah, the visor should be able to go up and down, but as you can see, it won't. So that means that we actually have the screws too tight. We loosen them out a bit, it actually allows, you don't want them too tight for this reason. If you do want to put the visor up and down, you can't have the screws, the four screws on either side tightened up too much or it won't allow the space between them to have that movement. But now look, yep. The, uh, Visor can go up and down perfectly, which is very easy to do. And voila, we have a sexy looking helmet with a peak that can go up and down. The majority of the time, we're going to have it sitting like that. Um, to be honest, it is more of a sort of aesthetically pleasing modification that we do this to our helmets, but there is some scenarios where we can. Put the visor down here in our eye line and it just helps with like low sun in the evenings late stages so guys that's how you install your stilo aftermarket sun visor to the des des i'd say either des or des i don't know which one but yeah it's very easy to do um a little bit tricky a little bit fiddly but there's no reason that you can't do it if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button. It means a lot to the channel. I can keep making videos in the future. But until next time, guys, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.